the clock strikes midnight. October is finally here. The beasts reach from the shadows. Your time is drawing near. 31 days of bloodshed. 31 days of fear. Join us on this journey. True terror will be seen. Lock the doors. Turn off the lights. 31 days of Halloween. season of the year where we had corn all around our house. Oh yeah, you lived out in the butt probing part of yes. the country that you know. Every other year, corn. I didn't have a problem when they grew beans. Corn. Because I was always afraid if I looked out in the corn, I was going to see a fucking alien come out and he's going to stick something in my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's what aliens do. They, they, they want your butthole. I don't know why. Like, buttholes must be diamonds on their planet. The one film that terrified me <laughs> as a kid was Signs. I remember this. The M. Night Shyamalan film. We've all made jokes of M. Night Shyamalan. We all know his movies are pretty much shit. What the fuck was he thinking with the happening? I don't know. Signs was a very terrible alien movie. And the worst part of the movie is because I was the, the one scene in the movie where I'll, the news station was showing, <laughs> yeah. was showing the like, birthday party. Like, like it was like it was like some weird fucking foreign country because all the kids were like talking. It like, was Spanish. I mean. It's like they were filming. <laughs> they were filming at the end of a dirty alley, and then all of a sudden the alien walks out out of the bushes. No joke, people. When I saw that as a kid, I almost shit myself, ran out of the room, and hid under the covers. No fucking joke. Now, I'm 20 years old, I look back and I realize, wow, not only does this movie is stuff, but the alien effects are shit. Yeah, that's what, if you guys notice, like, me and John, we usually know, and we start laughing before the other one says something. That's because, you know, while I'm 34, John is 20, I've known him since he was two years old. I've been dating his sister since he was two, so that's why... You know, our chemistry is like that, because he knows my shit, I know his shit, so that's why, you know, we start laughing. I don't know why I had that information in, but just a little behind the scenes. Now let's discuss your childhood horror movie fears. Um, well, let's see, there was Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger scared the shit out of me. Ironic, because nowadays you look back at him and he's funny. Now it's like, well, he had a power glove, you know, he had what's not to like, you know... And, you know, Friday the 13th, Voorhees scared the fuck out of me because, let's face it, he's a zombie. He's an intelligent zombie because he knows what the fuck he's doing. He is not a flesh-eating zombie. But, I, I don't know. I guess deep down inside, Voorhees still kind of scares me. Just a bit. A bit. Did Michael Myers ever scare you? The only reason Michael Myers scares me is because that could be true. Yes. There's like, nothing supernatural about that. Actually. There could be a sick, huge, 
motherfucker out there that wants to don some creepy mask is going to killing spree. A creepy William Shatner mask. I'm actually surprised it hasn't actually happened. <laughs> and I'm sure in some parts of the world it probably has. But, uh, and then there was, like, killer clowns from outer space. We hate clowns. That started my clown phobia as a fucking kid. It came out in, like, 88, 89, I think, when I was 10. And ever since then, I've fucking hated clowns. And now I watch the movie, it's like, okay, these clowns look like they're fucking mentally retarded. They roll motherfuckers up in cotton candy and eat bitches with shadow puppets. I mean, what the fuck was I thinking? As a kid, you know, I probably shit my skivvies at least five or six times whenever that movie came on. But other than that, I mean, most of the movies are well warranted, yeah. like, being scared of. Because I, rem I remember I saw uh, The Exorcist when I was, like, eight. And that fucking emotionally scarred me. Even to this day, I watch The Exorcist, and it's like, God fucking Preacher. damn. Fuck cussing hell. Yeah. <laughs> like, even to this day, I don't care who you are. If you say The Exorcist doesn't get under your skin, you're not a fucking human being. But, I mean, other than that, like... Most horror movies have pretty much... We've been desensitized by. Yeah, it if is. we see somebody get chopped up into bits, we're like, Ha ah, ha ha, look at him, he's all... Jigsaw puzzled. But, but you know what? St and this isn't a horror movie. But Turner Classic movie Movies used to play this every Easter. It was the, uh... I think it was, like, early 1900s, uh... Cecil B. DeMille's... The King of Kings. And they played it every Easter, and it was about, like, you know, the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus. But something about that movie still to this day puts me on nerve. Like, it, it, it off puts my nerves. Like, I don't know if it's because, like, the heavy eye makeup they wore in the silent film era, but it's just, it's a fucking creepy movie, and, like, I don't like to watch it. I'm terrified of Jesus! Yeah, Jesus scares the fuck out of me, dude. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. 